Okay, so, Season 2 of Star vs. the Forces of Evil, My New Wand and Ludo in the Wild. My New Wand is pretty much just a, um, the power was within you all along story. Pretty much, there's not much to go into beyond that. Okay, there. Marco reads a diary, and, um, okay, Star makes, like, a little computer vlog, if you will, and, uh, tells us about the se season finale, and, um, her wand starts to go haywire, and locks, uh, Marco in, uh, Star's secret closet. Star has to, uh, Star gets a hint from Glosseric, and, uh, great to see him back, because uh, I find him hilarious. <laughs> um, he's kind of like a more, uh, cryptic version of Navi from, uh, Ocarina of Time. Anyway, um, Glosseric tells, uh, Star that, um, up till now, she has only been skimming the gravy of her magical powers. And that only with the wand can she skim the water. But if she dips deep, she can unlock the magical potential that is within her. Pretty much a classic power was within you all along. You don't need your tool to do your magic. Um, I can see this, uh, hinting sometime in the future that her wand is gonna be for real broken, and, um, yeah, she's gonna basically just kind of use her magic like that. Um, this makes me, I, I, I'm not even done, uh, putting out the, uh, thing of this episode, but I'm gonna stop it right here for a sec. If they were gonna do that right here in the first minisode of season two. Why didn't they just have the wand blow up, like, all together? She can't control her magic with the way the wand is currently. She bare she doesn't even say a thing, and the wand and the wand makes a new pillar on top of the on top of Marco's house. Okay, and, uh, so Star is, uh, trying to find how to dip deep, and, uh, Marco is tasked with, uh, finding Star's secret to get himself out of there. Uh, after sh some shenanigans, uh, Marco finds that her secret is her secret journal, diary thing, and, um... He eventually gets to a chapter that says, and I quote, Thoughts on Marco. My guess is that she either has some kind of crush on him or whatever, but because he's into Jackie Lynn Thomas or Patty Mayonnaise or whoever, <laughs> I just realized he's pretty much Doug Funny from that old show, Doug. Patty Mayonnaise, Jackie Lynn Thomas. Uh, um, to be fair, she's one of the most charismatic characters in the show, even though she barely gets a line. Um, I do know she eventually becomes a much more talkative character later on. Um, uh, shit. Um... Star digs deep, or dips deep, or whatever, and uh, uses her first magic spell without the accompaniment of her, of her wand. Pretty good episode. Um, and then we get to Ludo in the Wild, where we basically see what he's been up to since then. It's mostly him surviving in the wild. There's not really much story. Although, I will say, um, there's a point in here where a spider eats something, and you don't see him, like, eating it, like, bite by bite, but you get to see the blood drip 
and Ludo drinks the blood. I don't have a problem with it, but... Holy fuck, that's hardcore for Disney. I, when it happened, I'm like... How... How, how exactly... How did that make it into a kid show? <laughs> and I'm saying this knowing I've seen more fucked up shit in other TV shows. Um... But goddamn. So, uh, Ludo possibly finds a wand at the end, and it turns out he's spent most of the time on Muni. Also, um, he spends, like, a whole day in space, pretty much. Um. Does, and seeing as he didn't die, and he survived 39 days without food or water... I'm going to assume he can't die. So, not bad episodes, just not a whole lot to talk about for Ludo in the wild. Um, so, yeah, I don't have much to talk about, and I will see you guys later. Bye!